Hello students, welcome to this platform of e-learning. Here I will teach you the prose titled The Tsunami. Now let us focus on the important vocabulary related to this lesson. Number 1. Archipelago which means a group of many islands and the surrounding sea. Number 2. Tremor which means a slight shake of earth during an earthquake. Number 3. Chaos which means Complete disorder or confusion. Number four, relief helicopters, which means helicopters bringing help to people during floods. Number five, recede, which means move back from where it was. Number six, traumatized means greatly shocked and distressed. Number seven, resort means a place where people go on holiday. Number eight, refuge means shelter or protection from danger. Number 9. Withstood means endured without collapsing. Number 10. Surge means force. This lesson is divided into three parts. Here we can see some inspiring and important events. These incidents occurred when tsunami hit some parts of India. The stories are from Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The first story is about Ignatius. His wife woke him up at 6 a.m. sensing an earthquake. Ignatius kept the television on the ground to save it from the quake. Then all the members of the family rushed out. When the tremors stopped, they saw the sea rising. This caused them confusion. They ran but in opposite directions. His wife was swept away. Her two children along with her father and brother were also lost. Thus, Ignatius lost his wife, two children, his in-laws in the tsunami. The next story is about Sanjeev. Sanjeev was a policeman. He managed to save himself, his wife and his baby daughter. Then he heard the cries for help. These were from John's wife. John was the guesthouse cook. Sanjeev jumped into the water to save her. But both of them were washed away by the waves. The next story is about Meghna. Meghna was 13 years old. She was washed away along with her parents and 77 other people. She held on to a wooden door and kept floating on it for two days. Finally, she was brought to the shore by a wave and saved. Next is about the tragedy of Almas. Almas was 10 years old. The family was sleeping, but her father had woken up. He saw the water receding after the tremors. He knew it would come back with great force. He woke up everyone, trying to rush to a safer place. As they ran, his father fell down. Alma's father rushed to help him. Then came a big wave and washed them both away. Her mother and Hans were washed away too. They were washed away with the tree they were holding on to. Almas saw a log of wood floating. She climbed on to it and fainted. Finally, she woke up in a hospital. The next part of the lesson is about intelligent Tilly. This is a story from Thailand. Tilly's family had come to Thailand from England to celebrate Christmas. It was December 26. She was standing with her family on the beach. Tilly and her mother Penny Smith both saw the water swelling. The beach was getting smaller and smaller every moment. They saw the sea slowly rise and start to foam. Tilly saw the sea making whirlpools. Tilly's mother was not alarmed by these signs. Tilly remembered the video that her geography teacher had shown in the class two weeks before. It reminded her that these were the sure signs of tsunami. She screamed and asked her family to go off the beach. The mother did not sense anything terrible. She, however, felt that her daughter must be right. Tilly's parents took her and her sister to the swimming pool at the hotel. Many others also left the beach with them. Then it was as if the entire sea had come after them. The family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel. The building withstood the force of the tsunami. 
the next part is about the animal sense some people believe that animals possess a sixth sense tsunami killed 150000 people but only a few animals died in yala national park in sri lanka 60 visitors were washed away but only two animals died in the same park people had observed three elephants run away from the beach an hour before the tsunami hit a man on the coast near galley in sri lanka had two dogs on that fatal day of tsunami they refused to go to the beach with their master so the master too stayed back thus the dogs had saved his life also i want to conclude the explanation with a moral we should realize the importance of doing whatever possible to save human and animal life to participate in relief work and to understand the concept of disaster management one should display acts of courage care and compassion in the bitter struggle of survival hope you are benefited if so like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching